You guys, <laughs> the snow is coming down again. It's kind of a sleet and snow mixture. Temperature's 29 degrees. In the video I uploaded, uploaded this morning, it was already snowing over by the dam side of town. And then when we went to the other side of town, it was the most beautiful blue skies. This is what I do, you guys. I make sure I update you anytime we get any changes. So we're gonna be going to the other side of town over towards uh, close to Baldwin. And we're gonna take North Shore over there. But yeah, it's looking good out here. It's looking real good out here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget, let's go to bigbearweatherandmore.com because we're having a sale through this storm. So I believe Friday the sale ends. If you type in the word storm in the checkout area, you will save some money in the dis on the discount code line or the discount code box, whatever it is. If you type in storm, you will be hooked up. So yeah, guys, this is incredible. And we have another four or four up to eight inches coming overnight. This is fantastic. You guys should check into the live feed tonight. There's usually quite, quite a few people there. We have fun conversations about everything and just watch it snowing. It's really awesome. So yeah, right now we're on Big Bear Boulevard. Instead of taking Big Bear Boulevard to the other side of town, we're gonna to take this North Shore area. And then I figured on the way back, we would take the uh, side side streets that we haven't been on much in the past couple days, so you guys don't have to see many cars and just a lot of beauty. That's what I like, seeing all the beauty and no cars. I love me my sprites. view of the lake right now and looking towards where the storms roll in and where they're where it's a lot not a lot heavier but it's definitely more steady coming down over there but it's it's reaching this area now as you can see look at these little tiny sleet pellets or grapple whatever you want to call it as far as I'm concerned I'll just call it sleet We are on Stanfield Cutoff now. And here we go, this lake view is gonna be beautiful. You can see where the clouds are touching the water. It's really coming down right there. That is epic. And then over here, it looks gorgeous as heck too. Oh man, this is wonderful. So lucky to live here. Less than ten. It's the absolute truth. Everything around here is so gorgeous.
our trees get snow like this, it, it really makes it just 10 times more pretty. So yeah, as I said, we're gonna take North Shore and then cut across over by Paradise and then take the back streets from Paradise all the way back into Moon Ridge. It's gonna be really pretty through there. Temperature over here is about 30 degrees. We're getting some, some little snowflakes as well. Little tiny guys, but it's mixed in with the uh, sleet slash grapple. Big Bear City. It really does look like we're flying, but we, we, we really aren't flying. Check it out. Going about 32 miles an hour. Sky getting a little bit lighter out here as it always oh there's some blue right there it's always like this over here and the further you go there's probably some some clear blue at the end but we are not doing that and we're already kind of out of the snow but we'll be driving back into it and it will get pretty pretty strong as we get back towards the moon ridge area on the side streets So this is what we're going to be taking, Paradise, all the way down to Big Bear Boulevard and crossing Big Bear Boulevard.
almost to the boulevard. And then, as I said, we're going to be taking the back streets. So Paradise, the street we're on right now, is almost all the way to the other side of town before you hit that big neighborhood of Baldwin Lake. And I'll show you how to get all the way back to Moon Ridge without having to take the main street and all the traffic. So here's Big Bear Boulevard. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Oh. little parts of this get a little sketch but it's not bad this first part when it's super icy can be a pain in the butt but this is only one of about two or three spots that's that can be a little bit rough and you saw it wasn't that bad so we're driving through the neighborhoods in Big Bear City and then we will be going to the neighborhoods in Big Bear Lake Oh, I thought that was a basketball stuck in the basketball hoop. It was a pine cone. This is how traffic's going to look most of the way, guys. And now the snow is picking up again as we head into this direction. turn left here on Sawmill and this will turn into Sugarloaf Boulevard and you take Sugarloaf all the way till it dead ends on Division Road and this will eventually start to run parallel with Big Bear Boulevard and you will avoid bumper to bumper traffic it's a cool little area back here that fence needs to be fixed <laughs> Look at that. But there was a half snowman and half rock man. Did you guys see that? Hey, this part can get kind of sketchy because you can't see the cars coming over the hill here. And I have to like sit up in the top of my seat to look over. There we go, we're good. The cars come flying through there, it's ridiculous. I show you guys these back streets because I know you're not gonna speed like crazy through here. the other night but I'll do that for you bro big time all right we do have another car uh, thank you sir thank you very cool you guys want to see where Rachel used to live where she and I would stay half the time in this house right here on the corner where those two cars are parked in the driveway. We would spend half the time at my house and half the time at her house. The good old days. I'm so bummed that she just 
decided to get rid of it. So she was only paying a thousand bucks a month for this two story house with two bedrooms, one bathroom, a full kitchen, living room, a huge backyard. And then once she moved out, they, I think they raised it up to almost $2,000. telling you guys the prices up here went absolutely crazy this is so beautiful back here look guys see there's not another car other than that one that we just passed the whole entire street I run ragged all over this place, guys, constantly. I have to constantly, I'm doing something always. And a good friend of mine who's in a wheelchair contacted me just now. I wish he'd stop smoking grits, but he wanted me to stop at the store for him and, and pick him up some smokes. I don't like to condone it, but he's an older dude and just a, just a sweetheart. And obviously he can't really do much and he crashed his car so i so i gotta go all the way to the other side of town to get that for him but that's okay well i don't i don't have to but there's no way i'm not going to you guys are wonderful dude two more cars right at the end so now we're going into division we're going to turn left here and take this into Moonridge I'll show you guys Big Bear Boulevard to the right here there's a good amount of traffic right now I don't know if, if you'll be able to see it where those cars are right right up there that's Big Bear Boulevard and there's a lot of traffic up there right now we are avoiding everything sooner to take care of you okay my bro telling you guys having a living in a small town the benefits are there's a lot of people that look out for each other and we help each other out it's it's a really great thing Fox Farm Road right here. We're going to make a left and take this into Moonridge. Look at how easy that was, guys. And there is a lot of traffic on the boulevard right now. Especially because the resorts are closing down right now. I don't know if you can see straight ahead the sky going from a little lighter to darker. It's definitely snowing pretty good in that darker area. Temperature's 29 degrees right now.
blowing snow right here. Got to be careful going down this road. This is going to be a little sketchy as well. Put it in first gear so we don't have to use the, so we don't have to touch the brake much. seeing some icicles hanging from all this snow on the trees it's really cool look at all this blowing snow right up here we made it down oh oh big snowflakes <laughs> It's going to be picking up soon, but as you guys know, as soon as it starts snowing, I come out and do what I do for you guys. When it comes to the other video earlier this morning, it had just started snowing in that video as well. But I did that video because we needed to anyway. Here's Moon Ridge Road, and here's the snow. Here it comes. guys hit like and subscribe help me out i put so much effort into this i appreciate it thank you and we are going to get this video uploaded look at how beautiful that sky looks epic